welcome to all tech mates watching this video out there today and today we have a review slash kind of just look over at the aerospark bluetooth speaker so this baby is a bluetooth speaker obviously from aerospark and it um, provides some crazy cool sound for the size of it um to compare sort of the size of it to something Here's my Bluetooth, Bluetooth, excuse me. I mean wireless gaming mouse, the e -Blue mouse. I did a video on this. If you guys want to go check that out too, this is basically the same exact width and length as of it, pretty much. I mean, so you're expecting if you want to buy this thing, it's not very big at all. Easily will fit into any sort of carrying bag you want to fit it in. If you're going skiing or something, you want to play some loud music. So that leads me on to sound quality, which is always important in these speakers. Most small speakers will have trouble, and especially Bluetooth ones will have trouble with making a good bassy sound. But surprisingly, if you would open this thing up basically in half, you'd see that one side is devoted to a sort of subwoofer um, type of part of it, which provides all the bass you need. And the other part is the, are the main two speakers that provide all the treble and everything else. And if you actually listen to the speaker play some uh, audio, you'll if you flip to one side, you'll hear the all the vocals and everything and you flip it to the other you'll hear all the bass and everything else so this is a pretty big part of the speaker which i really like so right now guys we're gonna listen to some 21 pilots and we're gonna just play some straight normal music from the speaker no enhancements at all whatsoever and you're gonna see how it reacts and uh, you'll see what happens and so i guess we can begin now right bow now So this is not for full volume, obviously, but it is, you can already hear a little bit of the sound, how it's kind of not deep enough, and it's very shallow, I think, a little bit, but um, you can let this song go up a little bit and you'll hear it. Alright, so now we're going to add in some of the bass enhancements, so here we go. We're going to bring it up to 50%, and you can already hear how deep it is already now. So, in order to even this out, I like to pull up the treble a little bit too, and bring it up to about 50% 50 50 too. This makes the entire speaker just sound more crisp, and nicer, and more high quality, but here you go. Here's a little bit of a listen. So there you go, you got a feeling for it, and that's what the sound quality is like. So design-wise, they did a very good design of it. I mean, nothing too complicated, a box pretty much. And another thing I wanted to say about the sound is that when you come with, when it comes with the box and you open it up, it actually is kind of low on bass when you open it up first and play some music, I noticed that. So I just took my um, equalizer on my phone, which is the OnePlus One, and I just turned it up some of the bass and it would sound amazing, especially if you're um, playing some music outside or something. It's great for a card game or something like that. So moving on, we're going to look at the top par portion of this, actually, the speaker, and you'll notice there are five buttons here and on top there are five little holes. So. Those holes on the right side, there's a battery picture underneath, which you'll probably see a picture of that right now. And those three battery, uh, those three holes are the battery indicators, and they're LED lights. So I'm gonna turn on the speaker here right now, and you're gonna notice it's gonna make a sound. And then right now it's gonna attempt to connect my phone, which it won't be able to, or it should not be able to. And you'll notice that there's only two lights on. I don't know if you can see that from here, but there are only two lights on. And that means it's around 66%. So those each of those LED lights indicate how much quarter of the percent battery there is. So if all three are lit up, it's 100% going down. And then eventually it'll turn flashing if it is really low or about to turn off. And then on the left here, you got these two, which one is Bluetooth indicator that it's connect, trying to connect or connected. And the other one actually says mic on it, which you can connect um, a mic to this and you'll see that. Um, you can see that that works also you can answer phone calls like with most bluetooth speakers so here we got the bluetooth answer button right there on the left and then you got reverse or choose different song go back a song pause play 
and then go forward a song in power obviously you just hold down to turn on and turn off but one thing i want to say about the skip back or skip forward um you'll notice that if you hold down these buttons they'll either increase the volume or decrease the volume so the speaker increases the volume on its own kind of circuit board it does not increase the volume on your phone which is a good thing to know about that and one thing cool actually about this is if you open the side panel right here there is the charging port which is just micro usb an auxiliary cable port if you want to put in an auxiliary cable and connect music without bluetooth and also an sd cards port so if you want to put in uh i think it's my mini sd so if you want to put that in there you can actually play your music off straight off that that's why those volume buttons are there so talking about how this looks and why it has this cover over here is there is a reason for that and that reason is it's water resistant so you could not soak this in water water meaning you couldn't drop it in the pool it would not survive that but if you would bring it to the pool and there'd be splashes on it it's gonna be fine shower is also pretty fine i used it all the time and i like listening to it it has great sound quality for what for what you need to do in the shower i guess it's awesome to listen to it also gets really loud so you want to be careful of that and also for a final note i guess when you anytime basically you stick this thing down you always either want to put it on top of something i mean anywhere you basically put it. you either want to hang it by this little um latch here on anything or you're gonna want to put it vertically like this only reason why i say that is any type of music that's more bassy than freaking i don't know even orchestra anything that's more bassy than orchestra is gonna screw with this speaker so much because what it does it starts moving and i'm hopefully gonna have a video of that right now and i'll show you a picture of that or a video of that right now and what you'll notice yeah it's just it starts moving so much and it just rides around so if you ever anywhere close to an edge of the table or something it's gonna fly off eventually so i either connect it with this lavalier here a lavalier i don't even know what to call it um <laughs> just stick it on something attach it hang it that works perfectly fine or i stood it up like that and even which is not really a type of thing i just kind of found this out I kind of make a little diagonal sort of ramp for it, and that works, seems to work pretty well. Although it still moves, it's not as big. Um, if you look on the bottom here, you just got the air spark lettering name, and then these kind of rails, which are not very intense. They're just kind of glossy, and it, it keeps it off about, I don't know, a millimeter off the ground, which is not too large. But anyways, guys, I just want to say thanks for watching. Thanks for almost 50 subscribers. I know it's not a big milestone at all, but, you know, I'm getting there. And uh, I hope to see you in the next one. Peace.